Barbarock and Randy Dandy. The ladies point me out. Got my eye on you, white one. No lollygagging. I do. What do you want? Recently mentioned you, uh, have something of a soft spot for me. Gotta ask you a favor. Oh, -ho -ho. that's quite the start, Gerald. What's it you want? Need to carry out an ambush. Could use a few of your men. An ambush? What's this about? Give me men who will survive the fight. They can tell you afterwards. <laughs> I like you, Gerald. That's why I'll give you not one, not two, but three of my best men. I was hoping for a number ending in teen. Teen? How many best men you think I have? Mm, more than three, maybe. I'll give you your teen once you tell me what you're planning. Need to attack a temple guard convoy. Mm, wouldn't have any other favors to ask, would you? Search your heart. Let me know, hmm? You can only give me three men, really. Since you aim to stick your prick in the eternal fire itself, I can't even give you that number. You mean you refuse to help? I mean that at the agreed time and place, you will find six men waiting who have absolutely nothing to do with me. Is that clear? As a bright summer day. Thanks. Yes? Seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm more eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion? Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Or to watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Even go. Let her stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet, and there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Sure, let's play.
This was a stupid idea. You're the one who wanted to play. They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Go after him. He keeps his gears. Shit. Lost him. Right Got through the here. tracks. Are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Come on. All this ain't worth a dog's trick. Ask the Slower. I'll come to you, my darling lass, soon as I can piss. Pass the barn on yonder fence, the crowing cockerel sits. I'll come to you, my darling lass, soon as I can piss. Anyone right through here? Two men, one slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, I something of the kind, dash boy. Turned left there. But where a wench she were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. Sounds familiar. Mm hmm. Nui de Beauclair. Dandelion uses it by the bucket. Trail should be clear. Think someone let somebody slip. If they Their horse the collapsed. Day, Can't be far. Just who to get pissed with? Witch hunters? Even Big Willie's not that daft. By the way, who do you get that nickname? I mean, he's even shot. He's there. There, I said, and shut it. All right. All right. But what the hell's a fruit here? What is it? You tell me. One of them hunters barged into our hut. 
turn this out before we could so much as fart in protest. There's another man with him, tall, dark-haired. No. I jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, Hunter's barricaded himself inside. There's another way in. Truth be told, there is. Where's this other way in? Aren't you curious? It's an ordinary tunnel, back way out in case of trouble. We don't let strangers in there. Show it to them, even. And they're... Shut it! Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cell of door around the back. Thanks. Be sure that you won't try anything. I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a fat hen, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lot. Like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Well, I'm not Julian Alfred Pankrat Viscount of Letton Holmes. Right now. You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet. Stop me there. What? No, no, no. You see, me and Gags, we don't. Everything. I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this last to thank for his racing after you. She chevied and chevied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the wild hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men.
Save your horse! We have to! We're almost there! What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Right. Best bits when the guard draped you over his saddle like a sack of corn. Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all mean this you get it from horson whoa siri will be overjoyed horson on the other hand's got to be pretty furious well he wasn't exactly thrilled hey while you were at it you didn't think to put in a good word for me did you something like i never intended to cheat him and if he harms a hair on my head He'll have you to deal with. No, but I'll make sure to mention it next time. Oh, thanks. Adventures are great, but they can be hard to write up if you're fingerless. Which is not to say Horson would stop at that. What about Siggy Reuven? How's he doing? Fine, last I heard. Oh, that's too bad. 
because I have a sneaking suspicion he might be a teeny bit mad at me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Siri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it? She tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific? A detail? Anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. Vafail Elaine Kiadmil Folin. Gladiv Don Eptenaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandy now. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you am done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Get out, pal. 